Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I rise this evening to stand with our Tasmanian farmers, farmers who are facing exceedingly tough conditions, uh, tougher than uh, in most recent history. I reflect back on the time where there were calls for support on King Island and followed by support on Flinders Island, and I remember the frustration <coughs> at the time how a delay in support actually caused unnecessary grief and frustration. Frustration. Um, I'm aware and have been fielding calls from a number of farmers about, again, the situation, and I know there's ongoing concern on both King and Flinders Island, and there has been some fantastic response uh, by Need for Feed Australia, particularly to King Island, um, but I'm aware of calls from uh, the main island of Tasmania from farmers uh, right across the state, particularly on the northwest coast, uh, where there is a dire need for feed in Tasmania, and it's uh, got a massive looming animal welfare issue. As I understand it, um, farmers have been collectively calling for support from the state government to facilitate the transfer of feed from mainland Australia into Tasmania. Um, farmers aren't asking for handouts. They're not asking for funds. What they're asking for is the support to facilitate getting feed that they can purchase, perhaps from, for, as an example, the Gippsland area into Tasmania, uh, but being given the support to facilitate that at a reasonable, say, net um, sea freight rate across uh, the Bass Strait. The Bass Strait is a considerably difficult um, uh, body of water that in times like this does cause concern. However, what we continue to see with this government is when calls are made and there is urgency required, uh, consideration takes time and then issues get greater. So um, there might be an issue that farmers initially are concerned where they can get access of their feed or their fodder for Tasmania. But as delays occur and pressure mounts, it is no longer just an access to um, operate their farm in a way that they feel uh, good about and reasonable about in terms of access to their feed, but it becomes a massive animal welfare issue. Now, you imagine operating a dairy on the northwest coast and the amount of feed required there. If you've got a shortage, it's not a small shortage. And so the uh, funds required to bring feed across from mainland Australia to uh, the main island of Tasmania is substantial. It requires a willingness. It requires a willingness to problem solve, a willingness to consider options, and a willingness to take action to respond to the calls of farmers. This is not something that's just come up in recent days or recent weeks, but there has been calls for some time for this government to step up and stand with farmers. So on behalf of Tasmanian Labor, we're standing with the farmers and we're saying, government, take action, respond, think of what options are available and come to a decision and support farmers with a matter of urgency. Because this isn't something that can just wait and another thing that have, can be kicked down the road. There are logistical reasons why urgency is required. One is to prevent the looming animal welfare issues, but the other is we are no, as example that um, some boats are about to go into dry dock. We know that there is um, multiple uh, people needing the feed out of Gippsland and there might not be available at a time um, when the issues are resolved here in Tasmania. And so what Tasmanian Labor are asking for this government to do is Take these matters seriously. I'm sure that matters are taken seriously, but take action urgently. It being six o'clock. Thank the you. question before thank you, Member. The question before the House.